in my never-ending quest for cheap heat sinks, I come up with this thing. Now, just back up a little bit. I'm uh, using mostly 100 watt LED lights. I buy these on eBay for six to ten dollars, and they need heat sinks. And they either have to have a very large heat sink or a heat sink with a fan. So I come up with this thing. Uh, this is uh, the heat sink and fan for an old Intel uh, processor. Uh, there's the numbers on it there. I get this off eBay for about anywhere from six to seven or eight bucks. Uh, any other numbers you might want on it are there. I don't know that that's going to do you much value. Uh, this is the one I found that worked. The reason being, okay, I'll show you this fancy little light that I got set up here. Okay, uh, nice little heat sink. This is actually the plate on the back of this LED is a little bit too big for this thing and I didn't think it was going to work but when I got it on there it did work. The center part of this is in here is round and it has to be about the size it is and I, I don't know it's kind of hard to tell what size it is but uh, this one does work. The reason I'm talking about the size of the center is I tried a different one which didn't work. Here's what I found wrong with the green one. I call it the green one because it's got a green fan. This here is too small. I tried it overheated almost immediately. So this is not going to work. You might be able to get away with a 50 watt or something on it but that doesn't work. Okay back to the one that worked. The problem I had with this one is I had four wires coming from the fan. Okay, here I've got one that I bought earlier. The heat sink's not in it right now. But uh, I bought it. It had the four wires. Okay, I managed to burn up the little board. There's a little circuit board right in there, and I burned it up because I hooked everything up wrong. Uh, so I got another one, and... I tried to figure out how to make this work. Well, I found out by using a 9 volt battery that the black is negative and the yellow is positive. These two others are for controlling speed with a pulse width modulator or something like that. But I'm not concerned about that. I just wanted the silly thing to run. So, these are the two wires you need isolate these two others. Okay, and in the past with the smaller fans I was able to just use a resistor to take the 34 volts that this thing needs and drop it to 12 volts for the fan. Well these fans are a little bit bigger and they take a little more power and you know it's going to take a great big resistor to do it. So I thought well I have these silly things and I buy these on uh, eBay for about a dollar a piece, maybe a skosh more. And they will take DC and they will take the higher voltage and knock it down to whatever voltage you want because you got a little adjustment on there and so on. Okay, I hooked it up and it didn't work. The fan wouldn't start. The fan would try to start but would never start. Uh, so what I did put a uh, electrolytic capacitor on this on the output. It's already got a capacitor but I noticed on uh, oscilloscope that it was a pulsating DC that came out which probably upset these electronics inside here. So I took that 47 or 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor and stuck it on there. And guess what? It works. Okay. 
If I was using a straight DC source, I would not have to put the capacitor on there, but if I'm using something like this little regulator to drop the voltage, then I do. So I ended up putting that cap on there. I tried smaller caps, smaller caps wouldn't do it, so the 470 is pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you how this thing starts. It starts a little weird. Okay, here's a look at it. Now I'm going to hook power to this. Obviously the light just took off. You see what it does? I'm going to do that once more. It doesn't start right away. It kind of gives a couple of jerks. Okay. One jerk, two jerks, and usually goes on the third jerk. Now, if you can hear this, the fan is actually goes up to full speed and then drops back down. I don't know why it does that. I don't care. Whatever. It is enough to keep this LED cool. Uh, it never seems to get over about 80 or 90 degrees, maybe 100. I'll blast you out with this thing. Probably just going to, yeah, the camera adjusts for it. Uh, but it's working. It's putting out gobs of light. And the fan's working. Give you an idea, total investment in this thing is going to be the light for say seven dollars for the light uh, six or seven for the uh, uh, fan and heat sink a dollar for that silly thing and probably about 25 cents for the uh, output capacitor anyway that makes a little LED light 100 watt work pretty good uh, and I got the fan to work. Whether this makes any sense to you or not, it's what I did to make it work.